<clears throat> All right, so here's another example. Um, we got a 60 degree angle, and what type of shape is this? Well, it's a trapezoid, so we're going to use that trapezoid formula again. So let me go ahead and write it down as review. Um, area equals base 1 plus base 2 times the height divided by 2. Well, we definitely know one of the bases is 10. So we have that. We know that this angle is 60. We have a slant right here that's 8. But we don't know this base up here, and we don't know the height. So we need to figure out some way to figure those out. Well, if this is 60, and we can assume that this is going to be 90, since this looks like a straight line, um, we can find the height, and we can find this short leg right here. So this short leg right here happens to be the shortest side of this 30, 60, 90. So what's the shortest side? Well, we know that it's half the hypotenuse, so the shortest side is 4 feet. Well, why did we want to know that? Well, for two reasons. One, now we know that the height, we know the height is 4 radical 3. So let's go ahead and label that 4 radical 3. And that's the height, this invisible line right here. And we know that if from here to here is 4, and all the way across from here, oops, from here, to here is 10, then this piece is going to be the difference between those two. 10 subtract off 4 will give you the top of this rectangle, which happens to be 6 feet. So now we know that base 1, which we'll say is at the bottom, is equal to 10. Base 2 which is on the top in this case, is equal to 6. And the height is equal to 4 radical 3. So let's go ahead and plug all those into our formula. Area equals base 1 plus base 2, 10 plus 6 times the height, which is 4 radical 3, divided by 2, which equals 16 times 4 radical 3 over 2. If we reduce that out, we get 16 over 2 is 8, so that gets rid of the fraction for me in this case. And 8 times 4 is 32, so we get 32 radical 3 as our solution. So again, this formula comes in handy to know this. Make sure you have that down. And um, we should do one more thing since this is an area problem. We should add that the units were feet squared. And there's our solution. Leave it in radical form and you're good.